Today we will be looking at my Champions League predictions. Let's go. Hey everyone, Finia, that is FYWN. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. And it is finally done, my little shrine towards, towards Manchester United. It is finally done. And I hope you guys, as I said, are all having a good day. Today we will be talking about the group stage predictions that I have for the Champions League, what I think is going to happen, because there are some seriously big ones there. And I know it's quite rich. You know, obviously a Manchester United fan. I mean, what experience? do I have with the Champions League uh, as of late not much before I get too deep into this, to this video I do just want to say that uh, to be more consistent on this channel I do want to start you know adding more series to this channel so guys I want to start a controversial Friday or controversial Saturday series where I talk about the most controversial things in the world of football and this is where you guys take part yes you where you guys just send me some controversial football questions and put them down in the the comment section down below and that would be awesome because I promise you I'll answer them if you guys send me as many don't be shy to send a few by yourself as many controversial football questions as you want and then I'll try add them on my Friday or Saturday series just you know it's a bit more fun I can discuss my opinion and that kind of stuff and if you don't want to put it in the comment section down below if you're a tiny bit shy then of course my Instagram DM me on that um no the first prediction is going to be against Atletico Madrid versus Liverpool. Now, of course, I'm not doing each individual like draw because, of course, Atletico Madrid and Liverpool play against each other twice. So I'm just going to talk about my overall opinion over the two match legs. What I think is going to happen. I think Atletico Madrid are dropping unnecessary points in the Liga. They are not in their strongest form yet. On multiple occasions, they've dropped out of a Champions League or a Europa League spot on the table and they really are struggling to find form and who would have guessed it? Of course it was me who said Jao Felix probably isn't the perfect Griezmann replacement. I mean, I did admit it. So just because of everything, I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen, but Liverpool have been in pretty okay form as of late, to say the least. I think Liverpool, without a doubt, going to take the cherry on top. Is that it? No, it's a piece of cake they take, isn't it? I do have to say Liverpool, although their first leg is away, I am going to say Liverpool are going to beat Atletico Madrid. Probably in both legs, I wouldn't be surprised. I think that the attack is just looking so strong. Really, the only thing that I'm looking at that would be worrisome towards um, for Atletico Madrid towards Liverpool is Oblak in the goalkeeper position. But other than that, Atletico Madrid have really just been out of form. I would love to see Diego Costa if he's in form, if he's strong against Liverpool. That's something I'd absolutely love to see. Oh, Virgil van Dijk versus Diego Costa. Now that is a battle for the ages. I think Liverpool are going to probably end up winning both match legs because they are looking so strong. And are they just going to go for the rest of the season without losing a single match? Oh, I think so. Next game, Borussia Dortmund versus PSG. Now there are so many factors that are going into this. First of all, I think both teams are probably going to win their home legs. But at the end of the day, I think overall PSG are going to end up winning. I do think Haaland is such a huge factor. I mean, he's played a total of like 57 minutes in total in the Bundesliga and he won player of the month for the entire league, which is just absolutely mental. Within 23 minutes of his debut, scored a hat-trick. He is looking totally unbeatable. And if you guys are asking as a Manchester United fan, if I'm, you know, a bit hurt by this, you guys can check my whole opinion on Manchester United's mentality in terms of transfer and everything going on right now at the top I think up above that will drop down and you guys can check that video out although Haaland is looking super strong although there are some great players like Sancho like Royce there are so many really good class players in Dortmund they're still losing unnecessary points they aren't doing as well as they were last season because they are stronger teams in the Bundesliga I am going to go for PSG because I don't think Dortmund's defense is strong enough to hold back the likes of Mbappe Cavani if he's able to play Neymar, Di Maria, you name it. No matter how strong Dortmund look, their defense against PSG's attack, no. Atalanta versus Valencia. Now this is one of the less exciting matches, I guess, but at the same time, it's one of the most interesting ones to talk about because Atalanta at times have looked very strong attack-wise and midfield-wise. I think Atalanta have almost nailed it to a T perfection when it comes to scoring. They look so good. Valencia really not performing to the standard where they should. Overall, normally, I would say they've got lots of quality in their team and they've got a very good team overall. But Atalanta's, you know, attack overall, I think will overcome 
uh, Valencia's team. And I think Atalanta will end up winning uh, maybe even both games versus Valencia. Maybe it'll be a case of both of them winning home games and Atalanta just winning overall. But at the end of the day, Atalanta is going through. I can't really see Valencia holding back Atalanta's attack. Spurs versus Leipzig. Now, this is going to be a very, very controversial one. Or, you know what? Maybe it won't be. This is all up to your opinion. As I said, if you guys want to send me controversial opinions of your own, comment section down below. I'm going to say, overall, I really could go for Spurs. A huge thing is they do have Hugo Lloris back. Hugo Lloris is a huge factor. They don't have Kane yet, but at the same time, Son looks so good in that attack position. Bergwin, if he plays, he is looking so fast. Overall, as a team, even without Ericsson, they're not looking too bad. Although, I do have to say, there are many missing components missing for Spurs. And RB Leipzig is actually racing with Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. And they are looking unbelievably strong. I mean, I actually can't measure how strong they are looking compared to other seasons. I mean, you've got Timo Werner up front. You've just got, look, throughout the team, I'm not actually going to mention their players. Because as a total, their team is looking very, very strong. And am I going to say RB Leipzig are going to beat Spurs? Yeah, I am. What? What the? F I know that sounds like quite a maybe a r irrational decision decision to some of you out there, but I do think that RB Leipzig can do it because Spurs, you guys just won in the last minute against Aston Villa, but yet somehow you were able to beat Manchester City. I mean, not that City have looked that strong this season, but I do have to say that. You guys really have potential to bottle games, Spurs. I mean, that's kind of your thing. Chelsea versus Bayern Munich, another London-based team versus a Bundesliga team. And uh, how do I put this? I mean, I have so many Chelsea like fan friends. Is that the right phrase? I think so. Many have friends that are Chelsea fans and they know who they are. Of course they do. I mean, they're the ones who support the team, Finn. I do have to say this is going to be a tricky one. And I really want to say Chelsea because I like Chelsea overall. But do I? No, I don't think they can beat Bayern Munich. I mean, yes, it is definitely possible. We've seen Bayern Munich absolutely destroy a London-based team this season and the likes of Tottenham earlier in the Premier League, no, I don't think Chelsea is going to lose that bad at all. I'm just saying, no matter how, if you set out Chelsea's best attack at the moment, are they going to score past the likes of Manuel Neuer? Are they going to score past Kimmich? Are they going to score past? Look, the defense can look very, very good at Bayern Munich, but yes, they have definitely lost unnecessary games. They had a poor start to the season. At the same time, Lewandowski versus Chelsea's defense and against Kepa Rizabalaga. Lewandowski is going to score a hat-trick versus uh, that defense. I'm sorry, Chelsea, but it, due to your defense, yeah, Lewandowski is going to have a field day. I, I'm giving this one to Bayern Munich. Napoli versus Barcelona. Now, this has happened many times. I mean, Napoli beat Liverpool in the beginning of the season in the Champions League. Uh, Napoli is a team that really could beat Barcelona. I mean, according to Barcelona's record, Napoli is going to win this like 4-5-0 and then in the second leg, Barcelona will come back. In fact, I'm actually going to put that as my prediction. First leg, Napoli are going to win. Second leg, Barcelona are going to have to come back. There's definitely going to be a comeback somewhere here. Mad comeback because that's what the Champions League has become. I mean, Napoli have so many good attackers. They've got Koulibaly in defense, obviously, but Messi, Suarez, just the whole kind of system at Barcelona. No, they haven't actually done too well so far in La Liga. Yes, they are competing still for winner spots with Real Madrid, but still not looking like their hottest season so far, but I do think that they can definitely beat Napoli. Leon versus Juventus now, I do want to say I think Leon can win. I think they will pose as a threat. I think Juventus will win overall, but I don't think it will be a run over. I think Leon and Juventus will keep it close the whole way. Even if it's a draw in the first leg, and then maybe a slight win for Juventus in the second leg. I mean, the attack of Leon, I mean, Dembele, you've got... Um, you've got Depay, you've got so many great young midfielders, you've got a great goalkeeper at Lyon. Overall, Lyon is looking very good, but against Juventus, the team in the top of Serie A, I mean, I think Juventus, 9 out of 10 times, are probably going to end up winning that one. Final one, Real Madrid versus Manchester City. And before I go too far into this, I do want to say yesterday or the day before, whenever you guys see this video, 
I did upload a FIFA 20 career mode video where I managed Manchester United as Zlatan Ibrahimovic and it pla I played Zlatan's testimonial game. So of course Zlatan's up there and the likes of Messi is in the team along the likes of Iniesta, a bunch of players Zlatan's played with. So if you want to see that testimonial match and you know what, support this channel, please go check that out. And yeah, let's start talking about the Real Madrid versus Man City game. Okay, so there's obviously this huge controversial thing with Man City versus Real Madrid. Once again, questions about that, comment section down below. I do want to talk about Manchester City. I mean, I think they've got a huge blow now in confidence wise. I mean, out of the Champions League for two seasons. I think they're still going to continue this season in the Champions League, but they must be extremely unmotivated. Or maybe this is Pep's way of thinking in terms of everything. Maybe Pep's thinking, well, now we have to win this because we're not going to get a chance for another two years. I think Manchester City really do have to try capitalize on this, but at the same time, Real Madrid. I think Real Madrid are going to end up beating Man City. I think it's going to be very close. Although Aguero and the attack is just so good at Manchester City, scoring against the likes of Sergio Ramos, Courtois has actually been on form and caught some balls this season for Real Madrid. I do have to say Real Madrid are just looking so much stronger and coming back so much stronger than they have been. I think Manchester City's attack is going to struggle against Courtois, against the Varane plays, if Ramos plays, Marcelo plays, whoever plays in defense for Real Madrid, I think they're going to do well. Overall, Real Madrid, although haven't gotten some of the best results in the Liga, they still have come out on top in the Liga at the moment and they are in that title race. With Manchester City, they're far gone out of the race in the Premier League. And Manchester City, I mean, their previous games, I mean, I've got it written down on a piece of paper here, just in case you guys think I just remember everything. I've gotten down their last games. I mean, they lost against Spurs. They lost against Manchester United. They did win against Fulham, a confident win. Uh, they only got a 1-0 win versus Sheffield United, which is just scraping it. And then they drew against Crystal Palace. So Manchester City have not been informed. Now they've got this confidence blow. And at the end of the day, I have to give this one to Real Madrid. Once again, guys, I hope you have enjoyed my predictions for this. This is my Champions League predictions. I hope you have enjoyed it. Once again, if you like my content, do subscribe. I would really like this channel to grow. So if you even if you have friends that support football, please do share it to them because that would help me out massively like this content. Of course, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified as soon as I do upload more videos. And don't forget your controversial questions. Guys, this has been Finn, FYWN. Share your opinion on the results down below. Love every single one of you. Cheers.